What's going on everybody? It's Dark Skater 7 and today I'm going to make a really quick video about a uh I got something in the mail that I've been waiting for and as you can see my desk is a mess. Um I have a mouse, I have my USB type C hub that's got all my stuff plugged into it and uh, I got my uh external hard drive. I got this huge, you know, spare keyboard that I had, but all this stuff I've been using in conjunction with my Steam Deck and like honestly it's it's I can't carry this kind of stuff on a regular basis in my backpack because frankly I don't feel like it I got other crap that I got to carry so I ordered something in the mail and uh, or from Amazon and I'll make sure I leave a link we're gonna kind of go over it and hopefully it's got some juice but I'm gonna get some of this crap out of the way hopefully I don't knock over the camera and we're going to kind of test it out a little bit and uh, kind of see how things go so anyway of course, you already know. Got the Steam Deck, and I've been using, I've been using like one of these old Nintendo uh, Wii or Wii U holders as like a little stand to uh, to kind of hold things up. So we'll go ahead and we'll let that power up. And as we wait for it, I'm going to get out the box here. I'll go ahead and move that back. And so we got something in the mail, and I hope that this is going to be something I didn't waste my money on, but we're going to see. So open that up with our handy dandy little uh, unboxing knife we're gonna see what we got here so what I ordered was a Bluetooth a Bluetooth keyboard but it's a foldable keyboard right so um, I'm not sure I hope this is the one that I ordered because the one I ordered had a trackpad on the side so I hope that this is the one that I ordered foldable keyboard by uh i guess I, I can't pronounce the name Aku, akuku something like that so let's uh let's go ahead and open that up hopefully this is the one i ordered if not then i'm gonna be highly disappointed all right so we have the unit right there we have like a mini this is a mini um usb port right there so i thought it was gonna be a type c but it's not all right and of course you got your little user's manual here I'll go ahead and set that to the side. And let's go ahead and take this out of plastic and uh, see how it is. So right off the back, it's plastic. Uh, the body is plastic, but I only spent 30 bucks for it anyway. And you just unfold it like that, all right? So it's got metal, it's got these, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got these metal hinges right here. That's fine. Pretty small and compact. I don't like that it's a, uh, a plastic build, but then again, I spent 30 bucks for it. And this is something I can use for this instead of me having to have, you know, the full. All right, we see something already. Yeah, no, okay, we're good. So, yeah, instead of me having to carry a huge keyboard around, you can see a size comparison here. I can sit that right there. All right. It's got the mouse pad on it so I don't have to carry around a mouse as well and have that hooked all into a USB hub. Got a full-size mouse right there, full-size keyboard. And they have other different stuff on uh, online. And I got my USB hub. Well, I'll still be able to use that sometimes if I want to hook up the uh, Steam Deck to an external hard drive, which is fine. But um, having a Bluetooth keyboard that I can set just like that and have the mouse pad and hook it all up to Bluetooth, that's gonna be a lot easier. So I wanna see if it has any juice at all. I doubt it does. And it, oh, okay, we do have a little bit of juice. Okay, so the Bluetooth is turned on right now. So let me go ahead and close up my knife here. And I'm gonna to go to my settings in Steam, or in, on the Steam Deck. And we're gonna to go to uh, the Bluetooth and we're gonna set that up. Uh, let's see. I haven't used the Bluetooth, so I gotta find it first in the system. Uh, let's see. There's my internet. Oh, it's it's at the six, and it says Bluetooth. I'm stupid. <laughs> it's been a long day, so we're trying to pair. Should be searching for devices right now. Hopefully, something comes up. Um, and it probably would help if I went ahead and turn on my um. Let's see, it's in Japanese or Chinese or whatever this is. So I'm assuming 
there's a button there I can press that down okay now it's broadcasting there's a Bluetooth uh, 3.0 keyboard so I'll go ahead and press on that and pair and hopefully hopefully it pairs up pretty quick it's taking a while though but I mean if this works and it's functional this is gonna be a game changer for me because I can take this fold it up and put it in my backpack and it's not taking up a whole lot of space I really hope that this works out Let's take that and move it over here it's taking a while to, to uh, pair up let me press it again and I'll hold it down okay taking a while hmm it just disappeared now it appeared again let's click on that again options pair okay there we go now it should pair hopefully <laughs> I'm gonna have to when I edit this I'm gonna have to put some music to it because this is this is a a little unsettling here Say I want a pair. All right, come on now, buddy. So looking around to the back, I see there's a bunch of like little plastic feet on the bottom. I hope that those don't come off easily. So I guess that's to keep it from from sliding all over the place. Got your keyboard there. The these feel good. Yeah, the buttons feel pretty good, are the keys. Looks like a full uh, QWERTY keyboard. Looks like uh, all the buttons I really need. The place I'm more interested in is the uh, trackpad here. Hopefully, just pressing it or a double tap will be able to get me to, you know, knock it out. All right, let's do that. Let's go on there again. Now maybe it was um, already connected, but I would expect for this to be like a solid line. So it says disconnect. We're gonna see if it's we're gonna see if it's already connected. Yeah, I don't see anything. I'm gonna go to um, I'm gonna go to desktop mode. And we'll see what happens there. Maybe uh, maybe I'm missing something here. Alright, so we still don't have a uh, connection. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it back on. Got a solid line here. Nope, it's not solid. Alright. So nothing so far. Um, of course, I can do things here and the way I have it set up right now is the track pads and then my left uh, trigger here is the left click for mouse and right is uh, right right click and then my track pad. So I'm going to go back to gaming mode double press for a uh, double mouse click and it should take us to our gaming mode. But uh, yeah, this so far so far. Looks like we might have wasted our money on this unless we can get this thing to connect. Or I can just take my time and actually read the directions and see how to do this. But it's all in Japanese right now. Now I ordered this probably, I want to say Saturday maybe? Or Sunday. And it already came. Let's see. Uh, status display LED. Connect. Open the power switch. Uh, blue lights up. Press the, press the connect button. And it twinkles. <laughs> All right, let's see. So what are we going to do to connect here? Because it really doesn't give you many, uh, doesn't give you many instructions at all. I see a warranty card, but you know, who's going to fill that out? All right, so let's see. Uh, please turn the power on, uh, slide the keyboard, blue lights up. Open the tablet, uh, PC setting Bluetooth into searching pairing uh, state. Uh, you will find a Bluetooth 3.0. Click to next step according to the PC tablet tips to input. Um, let's see. 
No, it doesn't ask me to do anything, actually. Hmm. Okay. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's go back to our settings again. Let's go down to Bluetooth. Turn that on, show all devices. And it says it's still, still connecting. So let me go do this pair. But nothing comes up um, for it to actually pair at all so that's a little strange unless I'm missing something yep unless I'm missing something so it looks like it's thinking maybe there's something I'm missing Got nothing here. Now I wonder if there was some. Um, I wonder if I have to do this in desktop mode. So let's do that. Let's go back to desktop mode. And also, I don't like the desktop mode option to be you know buried in the power. That's kind of weird. And then let's go down to our uh, settings here and let's see if it'll come up there. Cause you can treat this like a full fledged PC. Du, 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 du. All right. And I had to move a lot of my stuff down there uh, because I was accidentally clicking on a lot of stuff. So let's go over here and let's go into our uh, settings here, system settings. And uh, it doesn't look like there's any Bluetooth options. Really, these are quick settings. Uh, I can go here and I can type in maybe Bluetooth possibly and maybe uh, maybe something will come up all right so we do have Bluetooth hardware right there let's close that ah, let's see all right so let's let's do that so it's not showing anything else, showing, uh, showing this as being available, but it also did stop here. So maybe I need some juice. Yeah, this thing might be dead. <laughs> All right. So it's flashing now. Uh, let's see, and it's not showing anything. Let's see, so we wanna say I wanna add something. Bluetooth keyboard, we'll do it there, and then next. All right, so uh, let's see. Please introduce pin to your keyboard while it appears on press. All right, cool. So we're going to do uh, 029 All right. All right, setup finished. Okay, just like that, wow. All right, so let's try it out. It's working pretty good. A regular press uh, kills whatever it is. Now, okay, so Steam, Valve, uh, you have a bug with your system. If you try to, uh, if you try to hook up Bluetooth keyboards while you're in your regular gaming mode and your regular set system settings, it doesn't work because you have to do it in desktop mode. And you have to get it buried, pretty much buried off in the menu and stuff. So for people who can, you know, waste your time and, and tinker a little bit, they'll figure it out like I just did. And I'm not even going to bother uh, deleting any of that because I'm going to go ahead and leave that in there. And I'll, uh, I'm going to tag Valve when I tweet this out because that's definitely going to be an issue for someone who uh, doesn't have the time to do that or say they want to just jump in. I should have been able to just jump into the regular settings and then get straight to it. It should have just paired up nicely but for me to have to go back here and have the thought to maybe go into the settings of the desktop mode uh that's a little inconvenient for some people so it's nice um the keyboard is it feels a little flimsy you could definitely break this if you really wanted to uh luckily i'm going to be very careful with this but this is going to be a lot more convenient than carrying around the big full-size keyboard um 
sorry that the video was kind of all over the place, but I'm glad that you were able to go through the troubleshooting, um, you know, problems with me. I don't think that this cable mm, is long enough. And they could have they could have sprung for a USB Type C because the option having the option to be able to go USB Type C to C and plug this in and actually charge it from your Steam Deck would have been nice. Even though I know Steam Deck's battery life, um, you know, isn't all that cracked up to be, but you know, it still do, does what it has to do. So anyway, the trackpad does work. Um, and then I love the fact that I can just click on something twice, just like that easily. And it's uh, not a problem. The issue with the trackpad from here, using this regular trackpad and using it as a mouse, you have to know what you're doing to go in and map out the keys to have your left trigger and right trigger do mouse functions. Okay. so. Um, I did that earlier today and it, and you know, I kind of had to dig a little bit Sorry, I don't know that. computer, shut up. <laughs> I had to dig, dig around a little bit for that, but for the average person who's just wanting to get on here in game and not really tweak their system as much as that, uh, that could be an issue. So, you know, just, just being honest now, supposedly this was supposed to come with a little stand or a holder for a phone. And, um, as you can see. It is empty. It did not come with the stand at all. Nothing in the box at all. So as advertised, um, it was supposed to come with a stand from my understanding, and, but it didn't. That's also fine because I still have like this. I can pick up a cheap stand anywhere. But again, that foldable keyboard is by Akuku, whatever the name is, foldable keyboard for iOS, Android, and Windows.